good. So a common thing that people often say is, um, what's the big deal if you cut down the old growth forests and you replant the trees? For every tree we cut down uh, in BC, we're planting three more. So what we're trying to explain to people is that um, it's not a tree issue, it's an ecosystem issue. The question is not whether trees grow back after cutting the original old growth, it's a question of whether the ensuing second growth tree plantations adequately replicate the original old growth forest. And the uh, answer is they don't. Um, they're very different structurally and also in their composition. What are the differences between tree plantations and old growth forests? Um, these second growth tree plantations, which are harvested every 50 to 60 years, never to become old growth again, they've got closed canopies, meaning that the trees gr uh, grow together, blocking out the sunlight. That means down in the understory, there's very little vegetation growing because the sunlight is blocked out. The trees are of the same age class uh, instead of trees of, you know, a thousand year old, 500 year olds, 100 years old, you know, 50 years old and seedlings. You don't get the multi-layered canopies, trees of different heights that you get in the old growth. So you've got um, uh, closed canopies, uh, single layered canopies, um, poorly developed understories and a lack of a large diameter woody debris. There's just less dead wood, especially of large diameter. Now, going from this plantation, if we just walk a few steps over this way, um, we're gonna head into an old growth forest. So come over here and you see now, as we head into the old growth, the canopy gaps where uh, trees have died and fallen have let sunlight through and you get well-developed understories, a lot more plants and food for wildlife um, in the understory. On top of that, you can see that um, you have trees of different ages and heights. Um, so you've got small trees, you've got medium-sized trees, uh, you've got real big uh, giants like this huge red cedar over here. So that means that you have multi-layered canopies. Uh, trees of different heights and different species live in different heights in the canopy. And you've got a lot of um, standing and falling dead wood, woody debris. For example, there's a snag over there. It's a dead standing hemlock actually that has become a wildlife tree. And there's a lot of wildlife habitat in the uh, dead wood, standing and falling. Um, so these are the characteristics that distinguish old growth forests from the second growth tree plantations that they're being replaced with. And because they're relogged every 50, 50 to 60 years on BC's coast, um, you don't get the old growth again. Uh, old growth logging is not a sustainable activity in British Columbia. It's like forest mining. That's why we need to save what remains of the old growth and then sustainably log the second growth uh, that dominates the landscapes now.